So let me summarize everything that we feel since it's the most common dialect. They say, a mind more, your voice is saying, Say, but what anymore? So, about the chill, you mean I didn't have a mind as well. That's what we all be. That's what we need to say in the world. That's what we need to know. Now, we're going to go to the house. And you're going to go to your home abroad. And you're going to go to the house. And then, you're going to go to the house. If you say this is a competition, we'll do it. If you say it's our own, we'll have a question. But no matter how the petition is, I'll do it. 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 I'll do 20 days, you know, now they compare 33,000 uh, uh, slots and here were before as polling centers. And no crown, you have bread. Then, you know, 20 days, you know, Usha, the only 253 offices are ah, almost our three to four constituencies in there. In Tinidina, you know, almost say 1,068. Now, 1,068, you know, say the people are called register. Now say time will be a 15 minutes on the bell register. I will be on the part four and I'll wait my register. Two bad times say four no by thousand something. That is four in an hour. Now we have a time seven by eight. So we now outside the time say 20 in 273,000 votes. And she said, if I can suck us or move back or register so we'll be vote here. And no pet time or move on and no pet, you pass out the pen or move it to me. I register on. Yes, we have 33 million. And you know, I'm able to just say, I'm not saying that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. But I'm not going to be able to do it. And I'm not going to be able to do it. First of all. Secondly, I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm not going to be able to do it. Every 33,000 polling centers are not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Uh, executive or uh, EC offices are ah, only two to three and as a four constituencies as alcohol. No more they are registered or mining in our and for four, as I said, um, free a tree, 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 tree from the polling center. I know more used to they used to register from no ah, as I said, no more sign about EC office. No um, I yeah, be before transportation with the middle one a quite day and a nipa 33 million. You wait to me, I am a boko boko. Now you use 253 or more offices or more or more. And I have to show you in every region, in every district or more. I'm on Munina, who wrap 253 where you are on the 40 who says you will say a real constituency and send you a register. So, Usher numbers no and match. Usher swap. And just you be a new one. And it tick. And at the new force. And myself, the founder, and I'm not coming with you. My sorry. Any me dom, any a dom on who am I? We say, ye be sa, and ye be sa sa, and ye wo right, you know. Say, ye su ye be be sa. Say, who I stand in? Na enye ye. Time na mudi amaya no enso. And a space is miso amu say ye ye register wano so enso. Enti. E dia tu amaya nini? E dia tu amaya nini? E dia tu isi nini? Yes, remo. E amaya e amaya mbak. Mushe ye be sa sa. Na mwenye maye, na ye mpura, ya mbaburu, ya maameno, ya kuna kumafomu. Ene, omaini nina, nipa omuhu, enso etimi, a practice a democracy. Na wapaya tisa omu yemi. Medamase, medamase paa. My fellow citizens, we might be nationalized by different dialects, different names, and different culture, by the same principles dictate our government of living. For this reason, I stand here today on behalf of the nation, demanding equal justice for all citizens. The petition. Not only do I stand here for the nation or to speak to the country, nor the continent, 
but to also speak for humanity. Equal justice must prevail for all citizens. Politely, I would like to bring this petition to the notice of the Electoral Commission, a governmental body to protect the right of the country's democratic rights. From the 7th of May to 27th of May, they have given us 20 days to practice our voting registration rights. And this, I have put a petition on behalf of the nation against it, asking the EC to reconsider this duration and extend the time for us. 27th of May, this practice is supposed to end, making it exactly 20 days for 33 million people as a nation is certainly not enough, certainly impossible to make it right for a country. Now let's look at other countries like Europe or America. I think our democracy is based on a system that they practice. They have a whole year that they open their systems for the nation to be able to register their voting rights. And throughout this year, they take their time to educate the youth and the people of the country so they can understand what democracy means. When you come to Africa, it's the opposite. They're giving us 20 days. 20 days. Not only that, but looking at this petition that I'm asking for an extension, let's consider the youth of this country. This practice is going on in May when it's the time, the actual time for most educational platforms in this country to be preparing for their exams. And therefore, we're only giving them two days to come out to register. And most of these kids are being bashed for the purposes of other people's interest, not for the nation. Well, I don't believe that this is democracy if we're going to practice it this way. We have to be fair with our people and to our people. And therefore, I'm asking again for this petition to be extended. For the youth, that is 74.9% of this nation, how can we deprive them of, how can we deprive them from their rights? Secondly, I think this is an opportunity to educate the youth and their democratic rights. The ones who are turning 18 this year, including my own son who turns 18 in June, unfortunately, he has to wait for another four years before he gets the opportunity to be a part of democracy. And that is the fundamental basis of governance in this country. Thirdly, which I just don't understand, in 2016, they needed 26,000 polling centers to do this registration. In 2020, they had to increase from 26,000 to 33,000 polling centers before they could practice the registration of democratic rights. Unfortunately, in 2024, we don't have 33,000 stations or polling stations for people to register. Instead, we have 258 offices by the EC that has three to four different constituencies within there, making it 1,068 spaces, which is 3% of the 33,000 polling votes, uh, polling stations that helped us to do the registration in the past four years. My question is, how is this going to be possible by using just 1,068 spaces 
commanding the entire nation, people to come from different types of bridges, people to travel 20, 50 kilometers just so they can have a registration. I'm asking this nation to reconsider, this government to also reconsider how we're being governed as a nation. Give us the rights, give us the chance so we can practice democracy the way it's supposed to be practiced. And I'm saying this boldly, that politicians will come and go. Their lifetime is four to eight years. But the government is the body of this country. It's the fundamental basis of how we as a nation should be governed. And therefore, we cannot govern this nation based on a politician's interest. I'm asking politely that as a country, as a nation, we should all come together and go forward with this petition, making sure that the EC grants us the extension offices or polling stations that are open. Now, if you try to use 258 offices with three different tables as constituency tables that is sitting there, that some of it might work, some of them might not work. Some places will have lights on. Hey, you're going to need years to do this. So why don't we just go back and give the people the chance? The polling stations are not closed. That's where we're going to vote. Why not open it? Why not do the right thing? The point I'm trying to make is that it's someone else's interest that is determining our future right now. Because maybe somebody wants it that way. But I don't think the government should be tricked or should be forced into doing that. We cannot start up or believe that our judges, the judiciary system, the legislation of this country, the executive arm of this country should be influenced by politicians. And if I'm one or a leader, I don't think I should do that either. I think it's illegal. The government is supposed to be for the nation. The nation, the people made the government, and therefore they have to stand by them. They have to be responsible for them, for their rights. So I don't think that if they even grant us a month more as an extension, and they're still squeezing us in a thousand and sixty-eight slots. We're still going to find it easy. This year, I want you to know that there are more than five to six million people who are willing to vote. Besides, I would like everybody to know this. That do you know that every registration Voters' registration that was done before 2020 has been cancelled. Why are they not teaching and, and, and telling, educating us, reminding us that we have to quickly get a new registration card? If we don't have anything starting from the 2020, if you go there with your 2016 registration card, you will not be on the list. This is something that the nation should be aware of as we're speaking now. It should be highlighted in schools, on platforms. Why don't we know this? What is going on in the country? My question is why? Why all of a sudden we only need 253 offices for 33 million people to practice their voters registration rights? And this question, I'm not just asking the nation, I want you to also ask yourself that if it's fair and if it's right. So for those who don't know that if you have any card that is 2018, 2016, 2012, 2008, you can't use it. And if everybody is going to renew that card, we're going to have millions of people going to renew that card. This is going to be chaotic. How are they going to do it? It's obvious to me that whatever tens or 11 million or 12 million that was registered in 2020 seems to be the only important 
voters today for either EC or for politicians. And I'm asking that they should let other people in because they want to practice it too. Thank you. That's the best I can do. I feel like once they have this petition, they should act on it. And I also think Herald as a newspaper should act as soon as possible on it. Because this is not for our personal interest. This is for the sake of the nation that is being deprived from their rights. And if our children or the ones who are coming are going to go through these practices that they tell them when they can make them vote and when they cannot and who will be responsible to transport them based on who they want to vote for. I'm sorry, this we're practicing dictatorship. We're dictating to our people. Since we're a country of democracy, let's practice democracy in the right way. Now, I don't have to be a member of many institutions to have the right to address this issue the way I'm addressing it. Neither do I have to uh, be a politician or a leader of this country to be saying what I'm saying. But as a citizen, I have my equal rights to address anything that is supposed to protect my democratic rights for voting. And I have to do the same for the nation. But I want Ghana to understand that I am faithful and I am determined to do what is right, not only for myself, but for the country I belong to and for the soil I came from. For that reason, I stand here today on behalf of the nation that we should be granted the equal right to have the democratic right to vote. Thank you all and thank you very much.